Did you capture Bastilla's whale? Great! What's that? She warned there's still more to Malister's sinister plan? Wait, Malister's behind this? Malister? Drake? The Death Professor? I'd heard he blew himself up with the Death School after his sweet wife, Sylvia, passed. Truth be told, I'm not surprised. There was always a certain darkness about him. Sylvia was too good for that entire Drake family, if you ask me. Nonetheless, we still need to transmute Bastilla's Whale into a cure for the Fire Elves. We'll just need a few things before we can get started. Unfortunately, the alchemical transmutation will require some equipment that I'm no longer privy to. One student turns himself into a humongo frog, and everyone wants the alchemy professor run out of town. Bartleby forbid Ambrose have my back. Anyhow, I can make do with crafting equipment. Here's a list of items to borrow from Gloria Crendel in Old Town. Just, uh, don't mention my name. Young wizard, how can I help you craft today? You'd like to borrow some crafting items. I suppose that's all right. Let's see your list. Hmm. One large beaker, one crucible, five aludels, and a small athenor. Well, this is your lucky day. I just received a crate of those items. Of course, there are a few other items in the crate as well. Tell Greta she's welcome to them too. Call it an overdue parting gift. What? I can spot Greta's alchemy setup a mile away. Don't worry. Everybody knows she's been hiding on Firecat Alley. Oh, do say hello for me. <laughs> You must be the new student I've heard so much about. I can see by the gleam in your eye that you're bound for great things. I want to fashion you a proper set of magical robes. They'll help you on your journeys and look good too, if I do say so myself. But the gobblers ate all my supplies. I'll need you to get some more so I can make the robes for you. I'm sure you can do it easily. I'll need good cloth. Shawls from the Haunted Minions on Triton Avenue will serve nicely, along with fabric from Fire Elf Hats in Firecat Alley. 
Finally, I'll need good leather. The belts the Cyclopes wear will be perfect. You can get some in Cyclops Alley. Go forth, young wizard. Go. You got everything on the list? And Gloria says hello? Oh. Let's just get this done. Go set up the alchemy table over there. Ooh, that equipment is nice enough for an amateur like you to perform the transmutation. Go on. Just place the Herkimer stone on the crucible. There we are. Now bring me the potion and let me check your work. Wow! A plus work here, young one. Good work. Now for the next part of the plan. The curative intonation potion will work similarly to the initial curse, so you'll need to administer it to an influential fire elf. Alakane's swift arrow is the most famous fire elf actor alive. Once he's cured, just explain to him that it's up to him to pass the cure on to his people. You'll find Alakane in the Fire Globe Theater. I've imbued your wand with the curative potion. Now go give Alakane a good thwacking!
Magicians have something to learn. Fire for Frittle, Wizard City must burn. Fire for Frittle. <laughs>
dark resonance hath been driven from my brain. By the hand of this gentle wizard, I am again stark raving. Same. How can I ever repay you? 